Hey, what's going on guys? Tropical Fish Guy here. Today we're gonna to be revisiting the uh, plant experiment on whether aquarium plants can grow on land. So we did the Java moss, the Java fern, and Anubias. Let's take a look and see how they've been doing. Now really, I haven't really been paying attention to them much and I thought, you know, I might wanna like water them every now and then, but uh, lately I've been ignoring them and so now I'm coming back to them and I thought I'd share this with you too. So let's have a look, see here. All right, let's take a look here. These aren't it right here, so don't get too excited. We're trying to grow some, some herbs for the garden, okay? So here is the, here's one, here's one, and here's one, let's see. Okay, so we did three different ways. This one here, we did not add a hole anywhere for ventilation or anything. This one here, we used a, a, a chicken, one of these rotisserie chicken containers that they give you to go. All these are, and then, okay. And then this one here is just one of these black Rubbermaid containers. So let's look. So I want to open this one up here. All right, so it's looking kind of good here. It's looking a little bit, feels like there's nothing. Let's see here, it, it definitely needs water. And it's probably been like a couple of weeks <laughs> since I've actually paid attention to it. So uh, a few weeks ago, I actually tried to, to water this. And this is supposed to be some Java moss also, but let me go ahead and water it. But this is doing pretty good. I mean, this is growing. What I'm going to do, and I still have room right there. I'll clean the top of that, but I still have room for this to grow up, but it's not looking too bad. I'll go ahead and, I'll go ahead and give it a, a shot of some water here. All right. Yeah. All right. And I'm trying to try to do that. I think, uh, okay, and let's take a look at this one here. So Java moss, it's okay. It's been here for like, I don't know, a few months maybe. When, when, uh, when did I do this? Put a comment below on when I started this, because I forgot. This one here, I've got one ventilation hole going on, and we'll take a look here. All right, so, okay, look, this one's doing good, the, the Java moss. It's actually sprouting, and it's kind of growing pretty good. Java fern here, right here, it's not doing anything really. And Anubias, look at this, some, some good leaves, some dying leaves. Let me pull some of these weeds out of here. These are not, those are just weeds. Weeds in the garden. All right, weeds in the garden. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, I just pulled that off. Look, look, look. Let me push that back down in there. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, well, look. The Java fern is kind of doing okay, but not really, it hadn't grown any at all. This Java moth, and this feels a little bit heavier, so I think the, the water is, um, the water stand, okay, that was a piece of Anubias right there. That's the stem, right? that's the rhizome or the stem right there. Not doing good. Java fern. Eh, not really doing good. And the Anubias here, I think, what do you think? Okay, so we got some good leaves going. It's not really growing that good, but it's growing some good, I mean, some new leaves. Um, I'd say I'm gonna give it a, another shot here. Let's, let's give it some moisture here. Get that back in there. I don't know. Java fern doesn't seem to be doing very good. But Java moss, we'll push that back down. And it has plenty of room to grow. So uh, that's that's okay. I mean, that one's better without any ventilation. This one is doing okay. Okay. 
and I think this is doing pretty good. I, I'd give it one thumb up, right? I mean, come on, let's check this one out here. This is the first one I planted, and I have just one hole here for ventilation, okay? Look at there, wow. Oh, I wonder if this is, this is, is that Java fern? I don't know. I'm not gonna yank it out because it kind of looks like something, maybe. I don't know, looks cool though. But check this out though, this, and it's still wet too, wow. So just, this Java moss is really, really, I think this is the best one right here. Um, what I want to do is I keep these old containers. Okay, so this is doing good, but this, this, the, the top is not letting this grow up, right? So it's actually hitting the top. So it's, it, it can't grow anymore. I mean, there's a few spots right there where it can kind of grow, but what I'm going to do, I think, maybe is try another container over here. I keep all these, um, Keep all these containers here from like a store, like this is a cake container here that we got. This is a, a salad container. This is a obviously baby spinach. So what I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm gonna replant, what do you think? Mess up the experiment? I, well, I say the experiment is a success on the Java, on the Java moss, right? Except, the only problem with this, right, as you can tell, you gotta keep them covered. So they, they need that high humidity. You can't just leave it out like this or else they'll die. Um, Cause I did that before and I, I know that experiment, how that ends, but I want this to kind of start sprouting. I don't know if that's dead or, or too, too far gone, but at least this part here should start spreading out. I'm thinking, right? I, maybe I need to just show it some love or something, right? You know, so show a little bit of love. Maybe come back and, and spray it some more every now and then. I'll wipe wipe down the the uh, the top there because it's kind of gross and icky, but uh, so I can actually see and keep it in my mind and you know out of sight, out of mind. Because I've been really focusing on the garden stuff. You know, uh, we got some some. Uh, you know, some, some herbs over there. But uh, Java moss here, I think this is the winner right here. This is definitely the winner. So I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna get me some, some dirt and I don't have any right now. I'm gonna go get me some and I'll put, I'm thinking I'm gonna put this in here. But uh, I don't know, you guys tell me which one, A, B or C, which one's best? Leave a comment below, vote for the best one. Let me know what you guys think. I will probably, I don't know, um, maybe I'll add like a bucket of water and throw some of this in here and see if it just grows in water. I don't know. I mean, like in the tank, right? I mean, there's there's a, a clump of Java, Java moss right there. Just, I don't know if you can see that good, but it's going real good there, you know, that, that big old clump there. And in this tank over here, uh, the 75 community tank, we've got some Java moss growing here. It grows slow for me, you know, to be honest. There's some Java fern right there that grows slow. So it's probably, that's probably growing as slow as this stuff here is growing. So I'm gonna say it's pretty even um, as well as the Java moss here, that, that chunk right there, it's pretty even too. I mean, with this, I mean, so far this has the, been the best right here. Uh, but going back to the 75 here, underneath this uh, Anubias here, I think that's the Nana Petite or something like that, and that's some kind of Anubias. But it's growing pretty good here. It's, it's taking hold. And then over here, a little bit over here and then some on this rock over here. Excuse the algae uh, right there and then some behind that, that rock right there. So that one's doing pretty good. Um, 
I don't think I have any more tanks with the Java Moss in there. Well, I do have it in the uh, hospital tank, but this has a bunch of algae in there, so that didn't, I really hadn't been caring about that. Um, let's see here. You got any Java Moss in here? In the uh, miscellaneous community tank here. Oh, look at that paradise fish. He looks cool, doesn't he? And the neons, that's pretty neat there. Um, I don't have any Java Moss going in there. Goldfish, they'll eat the, they'll eat Java Moss. They, I throw uh, handfuls of uh, duckweed in there for the goldfish, but they're, they're doing pretty good. Do I got any Java Moss in there? Nah, of course I don't have Java Moss in there. Yeah, uh, let's see here. How about this tank over here? Yeah, a little bit over here, but not too much. There's a bristle nose pleco right there. I uh, should have a couple of, oh, there's a couple of pea puffers right there. How you like that, huh? Hey guys, focus. How y'all doing? Oh, come on guys, focus. Yeah. Got a couple potted plants right there. That's what those are. I haven't decided where I was gonna put them, but yeah, those are kind of cute, huh? If I could focus on in on them, yeah. Yeah, they're pretty neat. They're hard to they're hard to deal with because they um they only eat uh, frozen food, and that's a pain to do sometimes, but. Anyways, let's see here. Electric Blue Acara, he's pretty cool, huh? Um, he's one of the cool centerpiece fish. And if you haven't seen the video on him, I'll leave a link in the description below or somewhere up here on the Blue Acara. But I don't think, there's a cool looking Pleco. Cool Sorpes. Now I don't think I have any Java Moss in there. I got some, some um, Crips in there and some Anubias in there. And of course, some of this cool corkscrew bow I just added uh, from the other tank. All right, let's see here. You guys like the indoor pond? Off topic tangent? I did a couple of pond videos and that, this is how it is so far uh, coming along. It's springtime now. The, uh, I know I'm off topic, but the, uh, the peace lily, they're trying to flower. Check that out, that's pretty cool. Trying to flower some. Not uh, too much of a plant guy, but it looks cool hanging out with the, you know, just chilling in here. You could hear the uh, the water going, right? It's nice just to chill out here after a long day's work. Um, got some baby tears in here in the little terrarium there. But uh, yeah, that's about all the growing on land stuff. So let me know what you guys think. Should I keep going with this experiment or should I just throw them back in the fish tanks? Let me know. So, uh, let me know what you guys think about that. Should I just throw them back in the fish tank and uh, grow, them, grow them in the water or uh, leave them like that? I, I'm going to try to transplant that one, like I said, but whatever. Anyways, real quick one for you there. Update, I know you guys, a couple people have uh, asked me, hey, what about the job, of, uh, what about the plant experiment? Yeah, there you go. Uh, there's the update. Um, give me a like, comment, subscribe, share this with someone who likes uh, experimenting with plants. Not them kind of plants, but uh, with, uh, with these kind of plants, okay, so. As always, thanks a lot so much for watching. Really, uh, you guys, really appreciate it, you guys. And um, uh, go to fishytees.net. I'll leave a link in the description below for the uh, the t-shirts and stuff. This is not one, this is just a rando shirt, but um, sign up for the newsletter at uh, tropicalfishguy.com. Check out the uh, the blog that I'm doing and you can see all the, the, uh, the, the, the care guides and all this stuff that we're talking about. Anyways, always great to talk to you guys. Leave a comment below. Let me know what videos you want to see. And thanks for your support. Really appreciate it, guys. Happy fish keeping. Peace out.
yeah clean that off a little bit that top off a little bit now you can actually now i can actually see i know you got a glare there from the lights the cool fish room lights huh i know you got a glare there but i clean that off a little bit and i can actually see so i'll be paying a little bit more attention to this stuff what can i say you know let the plants grow free the plants and it was just Earth Day yesterday, too. Happy Earth Day, everybody.